How are you guys doing today? Today we are going to review the Brunello di Montalcino Valdicava 2016. And joining us today is Ari here, of an Italian wine specialist from LA. He has been importing beautiful wines like this, Fontori, for past decade. And uh, I'm glad to have him here. Give the mic to him today. All right. So, uh, Val di Cava uh, from Montalcino, Brunello di Montalcino, is uh, one of the iconic producers uh, uh, in Montalcino. They have a beautiful property. Only make Brunello and Rosa di Montalcino. They also have Reserva and Single Vineyard. On the label, you see the Michael, very iconic, obviously, uh, label here as yeah. well. Today, we're having the 2016 Val di Cava Brunello. 2016 is a beautiful, classic year in, mm -hmm. in Montalcino. 15 and 16 are considered probably the best back-to-back -back vintages ever. As with all Brunello di Montalcino, it's 100% Sangiovese. San yeah. And um, this is honestly one of the highest rated uh, Brunellos from year in and year out. Um, in this oh particular yeah, vintage. I mean, the 95 by Wine Advocate, 95 by... By Wine Spectator. Wine Spectator. Uh, you got 98 from James Suckling, Suckling and uh, 96 from Venice. Venice, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, so yes, yes. Vincenzo Abruzzese is the producer of this wine and he is the winemaker and he's a classic guy himself. Mm -hmm. So, um, highly recommend this wine. Tell us about the aging of this wine. Ah, aging the wine. So, um, as with, uh, these are, this is made in the classic uh, classic style in Montalcino, where they use the, the large barrels to age the wine, as is required by law in Montalcino. Uh, the current vintage is released four years after the wine is bottled. So 2016 is actually the current vintage for this wine. Yeah. And the Reserva for Brunello, uh, which is Valdicava Madonna del Piano, uh, we have that too, I guess. You also have yeah. that as well. Yeah. That is a super special wine. Um, but that is actually would be the current vintage would be the 2015. So what they aim to do is make a beautiful wine that is released when it's ready to be released. So, you know, you can go and spend thousands of dollars on some certain wines from France or even Napa, uh, but they don't release, they don't take the time to keep them at the winery for as long as they do in Montalcino to make sure everything's right. So let's try it out. Let's do it. Let's check the color. Oh wow. Dark rich. Almost like I would say see through for sure. What do you say? Yeah, yeah, I, I think I get it. It's, it's a it's a beautiful it's a dark red with um, but the color is it's 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 a clean, you can see right through it. Um, it's uh, visually, it's uh, it's exactly classic Montalcino to me. Cool. Let's see the nose. Mm. Oh wow! Like that, that balsamic, balsamic vinegar, the sweet tea. Absolutely. Almost like an orange peel in. To it as yeah. well, like a little bit of mint. Um, Minerality is going on. It's, it's Italian. I, love, I I just adore that minerals and the, that soil character of, of, of especially the Brunellos. You know? Yeah, light herbs to balance out the, the richness, but um, beautiful. Ooh, wow, beautiful, beautiful. Can we taste it? Nah, I'll taste yours. <laughs> <laughs> Let's All taste right. the sucker. Oh wow, it's beautiful, beautiful expression of that, that dark chocolate, cherries, the fruits, everything going great with that. God, the finish is beautiful. It's just classic Sangiovese, but racy and uh, elegant. Um, I think you're gonna, you, uh, the taste, I mean, if, if you love, if you're, if, this is a wine that is, people across the board are gonna love because it's, it's just got those beautiful Sangiovese fruits, um, those dark currant uh, fruits with the spice, but also um, that got the body. Is, yeah, the body is full bodied. Wow. Classic, classic vintage as well. So you get really this uh, 
exactly how Brunello is supposed to taste. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure that once you have this, you'll. And Valdi Cava, I have. We have been selling Valdi Cava for a while, and uh, it's one of uh, a great producer that we always keep in stock and uh, sells out every time. And uh, Ari is the guy that has to hear why is where are my, where are my cases. <laughs> How would you pair this wine, Ari? I would pair this wine with all kinds of meats, all kinds of mature cheeses. Um, it can handle spicy food as well, um, but it has the elegance to go with um, uh, chicken. Um, even I was the I was with the winemaker Vincenzo Abruzzese, and he said you should try this with a, a heartier fish. Huh. So and we did, and it was actually quite beautiful. So this is a this is a wine that I wouldn't feel bad pairing with any type Anything. of fare, really. <laughs> but for me personally, I like that richer, heartier fare. The tomato sauces, the um, the meats, all kinds of meats. Um, you know, you know, prosciutto. You could do it with a cheese board, um, and oh, it would just be perfect with that. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you, Ari, for being right. with us. Great wine. I hope you guys liked the review. Cheers. Cheers.